Hello everyone and welcome to this video about uh, how to create Active Directory domain in Windows Server 2022. Just a quick uh, disclaimer, this video is a part of a new series that I created which is about uh, completely about Windows Server 2022 which will consist of like six or seven videos and yeah this is like a small part of it so just in general if you want to follow along the whole series uh yeah make sure that you have watched the previous ones already i will put the playlist as well in this uh video like to pin it up the playlist and you can like watch along and yeah go through with more steps or go through with more information about it or like also just in general if you want to just look at this particular topic feel free to like hop along and look at different videos that have created which have different topics about cloud security about normal uh, best practices of the cyber security ranges you can also look at my website where i post blogs on different cyber security topics as well you can like just feel free to look around and yeah if you have any questions or like also if you have some healthy criticism feel free to write it down into the comments or you can also like email me personally yeah so enough talking let's just get into the video so in this video or in this lab you're going to be setting up something called active directory which allows you to centralize the management of services security policies user management and all kinds of other things within a windows environment so it's crucial that you understand how to do this you're going to start off with a few dependencies so things like you absolutely have to have in order for this to work first of all you will need an existing installation of windows server 2022 operating system if you don't know how to do this you can go and check out this video that have uh, made and it's also like part of this whole series that you can look upon and if you want you can follow along with with me in step by step you also need like administration login credentials so the first step is you need to log into the server and you need the server management dashboard so yeah all these steps we already did in the previous video which you can check and like get to this part if you're new or if you haven't watched this video uh any videos from me so here like in this uh, server management dashboard what we'll do is like from here we're going to select uh, manage as you can see here and then you are going to select add roles and features so here add roles and features and then it there's this dialog box which appears so and just so that you can see that we don't have it installed already on the left here like in the server manager so like here you can see this is where all your services roles features things like that are going to be populated uh, as you can see we don't have anything that says active directly as i mentioned so on this pop-up window a window here this is just going to be like it's going to give you some initial information about what you're doing and like yeah all, all the information we're going to go ahead and click this you you can also like in general read about this and get more information and so like again in the next page this is like once we click on next we are going to be selecting the role based or like feature based installation so like this part as it's already checked in now again once you have selected this click on next so what we'll do is like we'll be selecting the server in this window as well and the ones in which we are logged in so like basically this one uh, what you can see and then we can click on next so now you need to select active directory domain services so like here as you can see click here the active directly domain services so we'll be like what we'll do is like we'll go ahead and once you have checked that box this will tell you exactly what's being installed so it's like going to install a few different things to help you operate this like in this exact order so we can oh, click on like add features button now we can like click on the next on this feature window and 
here like you can see we like we don't need to add anything additional in order to do this so we can like go again go ahead and click next and in this screen it will be telling you a little bit more about active directory domain services and you can also hook this up with the cloud i think it's uh, 2019 also had this uh, with azure active directory uh, but yeah again we are not going to do any of that and we are just going to hit next all right and so this uh, page this will be telling us what we are going to install we are going to go ahead and check this box so again the restart destination service automatically if required and just click on yes and once you've done this this basically is telling us that when we go ahead and click this box it will like restart the destination server automatically if required and we are going to allow automatically or like automatic restarts for this and that's why we selected yes and now again if you wanted to export the configuration settings you can see it here you can, can or like you could do this we are not going to do that for this installation though and like you can just go ahead and click on install and yeah this is going to go ahead and install our actor directory domain services and once this is done we will like then check back in on this part so once the installation is completed make sure that you then click on close and yeah just in case in general if um once you click on close if the server does not automatically restart you need to go and, and perform a restart like yourself so you can go click restart just select this and click on continue so after it restarts we can jump back again like we have to log back again into your server administration and we will jump back into our server manager once it's restarted So here again like make sure that you send the control all delete and then type in the password that you have set and it then loads up again and yeah usually always the server manager uh, window like turns on on its own so you don't have to worry about that and yeah what you will notice is that afterwards here there is a possibility that you will see the notification on the server manager uh, and what you have to do is like you click on it and you actually need to promote the server to a domain controller so again we are going to go ahead and select the option for this so yeah and the ama controller is basically the main server running that domain that you're setting up so yeah in this video we're not going to talk about forest and domains and that whole architecture of how active directory works but for this video we're going to add a new forest and we're going to call um yeah in general let's call it demo demo lab and then just click on next And then like yeah just a quick note about forests and domains basically the forest is a large infrastructure and the domains can be like sub areas of that in infrastructure so for the functional levels we are going to leave those the same so here as you can see basically this is a again like a compatibility feature so if you had all our operating systems you could definitely select the operating system in there i think yeah up till 20, uh, 2008 and um, yeah if you do like yeah as i said in the drop down you can see many also many different ones like 20, 20, 2012 um 28 uh, 2016 all these things yeah we were just going to leave it at 2016 of for our installation and then you need to select the uh services so 
and here also what's really important is like the restore mode uh, password or like the dsrm like password so like here and this is like a really important password so in a normal environment and an organization in an enterprise you would definitely want to secure this password have it written down or stored just in case you needed it so yeah just make sure that you select a stronger password like for this lab definitely you don't have to but just uh, for best, best practices it's always nicer to do it and then like click on next um yeah and we also will click next on this one so like in the net bios here what you can see domain is used to like used as a reference for your domain so for example if you are trying to log into a computer that's connected to your domain let's say your username would be demo slash your username so this comes from earlier where we filled out demo lab so as you can see demo so we will yeah just leave it like this and then hit next this gives us a review of all the things like once you click on next what will come up in general is like the whole review of all the settings that like we are trying to configure usually um yeah after like also just make sure that you just select next in this we won't change any part of it so here as i was talking about that yeah, it will give you exactly like the review of all the things all the settings that we are trying to configure you can like also get the script for this so if you wanted to actually complete this using things like powershell or yeah like you totally can uh, in general for this but yeah we're not going to do this for like our installation so here when you click on script what we'll do is like we select next and what it will do is like it says that we have to pass all the re prerequisite checks and if you like once you let it run uh, i think it takes a few seconds sometimes minutes and once it actually passes all the checks we can like go further with it and kind of complete our installation so here there's the check mark which says all prerequisite checks are passed successfully also like at the end you can see here and what we'll do is like we now will be going and click on install and once this is done installing we will like check back in for this so normally what you will see is like um the moment you install and the installation is completed this is going to automatically restart your system because like you initially added um active directory domain also there's a when you also like remove an active directory domain it will also restart as well so bo in both processes it will restart and yeah once it restarts again what you will see like you will see something different um than normally how you used to log in and we will look back upon it uh, once we are into this part So now when it restarts again and here what you will notice is that now we have to log in into the domain and here it shows that it says demo slash administrator because now we are logging into the domain connected to the computer keep in mind that it's like the same password like the password hasn't changed so whichever password you set before it remains the same uh, the only thing is like you are now logging into a domain and if you remember uh, back like when we were using the or when we started this the server manager in general here what you will notice is as, as soon as it boots up properly it will show you 
uh, the active directory so before there was no such thing mentioned and once this like boots up properly and it refreshes it you will see that you have like also some tools that are like active domain there are active directory domain services so like here you can see here there's the adds and yep yeah, so this was how you set up your first forest and domain in server manager i hope you could learn a few interesting things in this video it also helped you to understand exactly a bit more on how a server manager works or also how windows server 2022 works and yeah if you have any questions if you yeah if you or like just didn't understand something got stuck you can like feel free to just comment down or like ask your questions and yeah hope to see you again in the next video